Good afternoon. It's Friday, tie-dye Friday. It's the 19th of October, and it's the daily drive on Distenta Drive. And today I'm going to talk about cheese. I like cheese. Cheese is a good thing. I don't like American cheese. American cheese is nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. I've never understood why people like it. I mean, the only time that I think I can really stomach it is if I'm out to eat and I'm having a grilled cheese sandwich that that somebody makes for me, meaning I'm at a friend's house and that's what they have, I guess I'll eat it, but I better have some tomato soup or something to dip that junk in because American cheese is just gross. It's pasty, gooey, oily, I don't understand it stuff. Kraft American cheese is probably the most nastiest thing in the whole world and I don't know why anybody would put that in their own face. It's just gross. But give me a nice mild cheddar. Mmm, that's the good stuff. Give me a nice mozzarella on some pizza. Mmm, that's the good stuff. And when I go out to places like McDonald's and I order whatever I'm having and then they say, do you want cheese on that? It's real easy for me to say, no thank you. I don't like American cheese. American cheese is probably the grossest thing in the whole planet. But I've discovered that if you ask really nicely at places, McDonald's in particular, they will swap out their nasty American for a slice of Swiss. And actually, McDonald's Swiss cheese is not too bad. I've enjoyed having different things, mainly breakfast items there, and they always do a good job. I remember being young, and my parents during the summer would give us money for us to get our, our lunches during the summer. So, you know, it wasn't uncommon. Dad would say, here's $10 for the week. You use it how you see fit. And I would go down to the local butcher shop and order some sliced Swiss and some very nicely thinned roast beef. And I would eat those together. And there's nothing quite as incredible as the merging of Swiss and roast beef. Not warm, no, no, not warm. Just regular Swiss and roast beef. No bread, no condiments, just those two wonderful things together. It, I liken it unto the way Remy in the movie Ratatouille describes how different flavors have a different sense of belonging together and they pop and their music and visual to him. And I understood that and where it comes from. And when he showed that demonstration, I thought to myself, that is roast beef and Swiss. That is the flavor of olive oil, vinegar, tomato, and pickles with some salt and pepper. Oh, the wonderfulness that is that acid combination. I don't understand it. There are a few things like that in the world that I, I can go, yes, that's good. That is good. And that is why we live on this crazy little planet called Earth. Those merging of special flavors. But cheese, glorious cheese, to quote a commercial from long, long ago. Ah, oh, I like cheese. I like Here's another example of cheese that I like in a very particular way. And I learned this young. If you like mozzarella, throwing some shredded mozzarella into a frying pan and letting it melt and then brown into a crisp, crisp treat. Oh, that is joyful. Yes, that is joyful. Let me think of another one. Here in Wisconsin, they have cheese curds. And basically, what that is, is a uh, when they're making cheese and before it gets blocked and they chop off the pieces of the cheese that are not being used, they end up with little chunks, little nuggets of, of cheese. And here they, they dip them in batter and deep fry them, uh, much like a cheese stick very popular here you dip them in ranch dressing or something like that and it's 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 a delightful thing 
So, what kind of cheese do you like? I was reading today in one of the, the, the rag papers that they have. It's the entertainment paper. And they were talking about grits. And I don't know if you know what grits are. They're a, they're a breakfast D-type food, much like oatmeal. And they were speaking of how to make them with smoked Gouda. And I thought, mmm, I wish my kid Jonathan was here. Because I would love to make that and enjoy it with him. Smoked Gouda grits. Doesn't it sound good? And if you don't know what a grit is, it's a corn product. It's like cornmeal that uh, is, is boiled, like oatmeal is boiled, and it creates like a, a mush substance, and it's, it's rather tasty. It's a, a farmer's type meal, uh, and it's just wonderful. Grits with a, if you're just gonna have straight grits, you know, if you wanna try the the, the instant grits uh, with a slab of piece of butter on there. Mmm. Now, interestingly enough, yes, love grits. I hate oatmeal. Don't know why. I think it has to do with the fact that I wasn't raised on oatmeal. And the time that I tried it, my parents said, here, try this, you'll love it. And they plopped a piece of ice cream in it, and I'm just like, what? You just ruined the ice cream! Now, I do like oats and and the like, but not oatmeal. Ugh. Gooey, nasty, pasty in my mouth. Blech. That is definitely not on my Remy popping list. And not with ice cream by any stretch of the imagination. Well, thank you for watching me today as I talked about crazy cheese, grits, and oatmeal. I hope you've had a great week. I know that I have. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to, uh, if you have the opportunity, take a look at me on Facebook. Take me a look at me on Twitter and Google+. And most especially, please get involved right here on YouTube. And I know I always say subscribe and comment, but today, more importantly, I ask you to share. Share what I'm doing with somebody else. And who knows, maybe they have a love of cheese, or tomatoes and pickles, or roast beef and Swiss, and they'll relate to what I'm talking about. Have a great weekend, drive safe, buckle up, and I'll see you next week. And thanks for watching The Drive. Bye. Hi, it's a bonus little extra piece if you stuck around to the end. I wanted to share with you the happiest thing I saw all day. And it's a short little video clip that's right after the drive. So make sure you stick around because it's so worth it. Oh, it was the happiest thing that I saw all day long today. And I hope you really like it too. Maybe it's just me, but it was just wow. Anyway, talk to you later.